We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium, built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Los Scandalous Damned battle. The Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flucked my metal. Not too good. Well, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. <laughs> Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And that player has one speed. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. <laughs> Second down and long. laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change his score, did it? How good can it be? Third down and five.
You've got to catch that. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go. He's unstoppable. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Great run on that play. Third down and a sliver. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing. High. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. It's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. The defense better watch out. The quarterback Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. The punter is warming up. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> That's the end of the first. And it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh could it be mine? Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can... And he snags the punt and looks for open field. And a punt snags. 
Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. First down and seven. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called center. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm sad to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Second down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Third down and forever. and four. Stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Third and four. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys. Get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Third down and never going to happen. Defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. But probably stupid. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. First down and five. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and six. Quarterback <laughs> passes for a touchdown. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. They used their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> Oh, 
Attention. Only with them. Second, and that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. Oh, and he misses the kick. And his teammates are going to flog him when he gets back to the sideline. And it's first and ten. Interception. What's that, Grim? A five oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. Go I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Ruin it. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about them two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Five yards. Second down and five. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Man, the 
possession. And that will bring up third and one. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a sonic blast dirty trick. That ball just broke the top for the first down. And the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's bribed, you idiot. Third down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. You gotta take bribes if you're a ref, Bricks. They get paid peanuts next to these players. It's hard to make a decent living. Mm, even harder when you're dead. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Good thing they don't have drug testing in the NFL because whenever they juice that player with... Oh, no! This is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> and it's first and ten. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. the extra point attempt. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. It's Brooklyn moving crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking up field. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Third down and the punter is warming up. The way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful and it's first and ten and that's how you run the football a pickup of seven on the play Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football they'd be good you know they're all in politics apparently 
Second and three. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third down and three. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and six. Nice run for five yards. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. That'll be second down and four. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Third down and, well, good luck. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. <laughs> Through it. 
And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite, Dave, because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. First and eight to go. Oh, no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and five. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're going to lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this dance, Grim. Second down in a lot, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And there's a huge gain and this offense is rolling. Mogren, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third down and the punter is warming up. The defense better look out. The offense called the beast boost dirty trick. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Uh, normally, I don't advocate for changing the station, but for the sake of your eternal soul, I'd understand if you want to cut away during this ritualistic dance. Uh, Grim? The, uh, the crowd started chanting. Why, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, they did. We're, we're going to go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. 
The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap! That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. First down and three. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Quinn? That line ain't moving. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Second and three. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense has like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He didn't do nothing. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And they take their first timeout. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Just got crushed. And it's first. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. They're going for two. Excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. I'm a once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it.